Hi, this is a quick and very rough introduction to the new configure window action step in drafts. The purpose of this action step is to let you control a whole bunch of interface elements all in one easy to configure action so you can switch contexts in the app. I've got one set up, so let's run it and take a look. I call this writing mode. I ran that, so what happened? That action hid both of the sidebars. It entered pinning mode to disable new draft creation. It hid the tag entry element. It loaded my editing action bar and my markdown actions in the sidebars and my writing workspace so that all my bits of writing are easily accessible. So how did that work? Let's take a look. Go back over and edit this action. If I dig down in the steps, you'll see there's just one configure window step, and it has all these options. You can toggle on and off or choose to use or not use in any one of these actions. I'm hiding the sidebars, loading that writing workspace and those action groups, etc. So let's create another one. I'm going to just take this one and duplicate it and edit it. Let's call this one project mode. Give it a different tint color. I'm going to go into that configure window step. And when I'm working on projects, I like to show the sidebar. I like to show tag entry because I'm tagging things a lot. I'm going to load my projects workspace and my processing action group instead, say. And I'm going to leave pinning mode because I create a lot of new drafts. So let's save that. We'll run it. And boom, tag entry. My projects workspace loaded. That workspace has a theme attached to it, so it loaded that. My processing thing is all ready to go. So anyway, I hope you find this a useful addition in setting up your drafts environment.